Hey, what is up guys? And thank you, thank you, thank you for 5,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Um, a few quick shout outs. Uh, the Jesus Freak, Ocho Blanco, my best friend on the sticks, uh, Judgment Awaits, you've been with me since I had like uh, 100 subs or something like that, you started giving me shout outs, and this has just been amazing. Um, Godly Disciple, uh, I'm so happy we found you, <laughs> and everything that's going on in your channel, you're about to hit 1,000 subs, and the rest is history, congratulations on Just and figuring out your niche with sniping and everything, um, who am I forgetting, uh, Till I Collapse, um, Butterbean, Cle I, there's too many names for me to say, um, I just really am floored uh, at the growth that's taken place in the last year and a half or so, and what's taken place in the last 10 days, and I just want to say thank you guys, and so I, this crept up so fast, I wasn't really able to put something together, um, so, oh, and Blaze, 2588, uh, at least 100 of your subs came over the day that you shouted me out, or the, that day and the next day, um, so thank you, but, uh, and uh, what's going on in your channel is great as well, um, the esports community is helping us out a lot, um, so I wanted to, what I wanted to do instead of, you know, I couldn't really put a video together, so I wanted to take something from my 290 videos or however many I have, and give you guys what I believe is one of my best and really defines who I am and why I originally got on YouTube and uh, I don't know what that was that just flew by the screen that was awkward um, but I got when I got my first dislike I actually made a commentary about my first dislike but it ended up turn and I think it was Ocho Blanco that did it on accident but it ended up turning into what he calls um, probably my best commentary I've ever done and so after I finish talking, it's going to cut out to that Dislikes and Disappointments Part 1 is what it was called. Um, and you guys can go ahead and watch Part 2. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, it really describes me as a man, where I came from, why I'm here on YouTube, and what my hopes are for you guys. And so if you want more commentaries like that, uh, let me know because I kind of have gotten away from those uh, type of more serious commentaries. Uh, but I just wanted to say thanks, guys. Um, we're just going to keep growing. I think I'm at 5,015 or something like that um, and I'm looking forward to the future this is your boy Kingdom Soldier I'll see you in the next video peace hey what is up guys it's your boy Kingdom Soldier and I'm back again with another gameplay slash commentary so when I was about I want to say four or five years old uh, I don't remember a lot but I do remember one day when we rolled up to my house and my mom and my dad they were kind of going through the motions of divorce uh, and I don't remember if we had moved out I, I really don't remember the circumstances surrounding this day but I remember that we rolled up to our house on base housing and my dad was standing outside in a wife beater and he had like a do-rag on his head and he was drinking something I don't think it was a beer I think it was like juice or something like that uh, and so my mom you know she had been called into work and she said she could work it she was supposed to hang out with me and my brother though uh, my brother's about a year younger than me you guys will meet him really soon when I hit 100 subscribers which you know will probably be in a couple days but uh, you know my my mom asked my dad to watch us you know she said hey I got called into work, can you take the boys for the rest of the day? My dad proceeds to look at my mom, and his exact words were, I'm not babysitting today. My mom, smartly, with much intelligence, stayed in the car and didn't get out. And so nobody got hurt, nobody got killed or stabbed. <laughs> I'll warn you men, do not ever say that you are babysitting your children to your wife or girlfriend. You can say it to your boys because they understand. We put it in that context. But don't ever say it to the woman that bore those children. Be that especially if she stays home and watches them all day. So my mom is mad, you know, and she looks at my dad and she says, look, I need to work. I need you to watch the kids. And my dad says, 
No, I'm not taking them. I don't care. My mom kind of takes a deep breath. She looks at my dad and she says, if you don't take the boys right now, we're not coming back. And unfortunately, my dad looked at my mom and said, fine. And we left. That was the last time I saw my dad for a while. It was probably about five or six months. They went through court litigation and all that kind of stuff, visitation rights. They did get divorced. Um, and we started seeing my dad on the weekends. And I'm not going to tell you guys what happened, but what I will tell you is something crazy happened at his house when we were there. Uh, and I may tell you guys that story later, maybe when we get to know each other a little bit better, but something crazy happened at my dad's house while we were there. And we basically didn't go to see him for years on end. And it was about six years after that. We had not seen or talked to him for six years. And at the end of that six years, it was a Christmas day. And my mom, you know, she was not the kind of woman. She was very independent. She was not the kind of woman to say, you need your dad in your life. You need your father in your life. You know, she was all about, you don't need him. You were fine. We can take care of each other. It's the three of us. You know, my mom, my brother, and I are really tight because of, I mean, we were dirt broke. And I think I'm going to tell you guys some of the stories about my childhood and how we went from rags to riches. And my mom went from being broke, working two jobs, to being an executive, uh, a vice president in a multi-million dollar company. And then she went and worked uh, corporate at Starbucks in the corporate office. Uh, and we were balling out of control. Things have changed since then, but we really went from rags to riches. And it was an amazing blessing. And I'd love to tell you guys about it sometime. But my dad, we call him. You know, everything's going great. We're living up here in Tacoma, Washington, where I live right now. We're in a nice three-story house. We had, I mean, everything you could imagine. You know, my mom's driving a, I think she was driving a Mercedes at the time. Uh, it was great. You know, my brother and I had our own cars in high school. And I got so lucky with my dogs right there before I died. <laughs> and uh, she says, you know, you should call your dad Christmas Day. She just says, I, need, uh, I think you guys should call your father. And so my brother and I... You know, I, as the big brother, my brother is, looks at me for the decision, and I'm like, okay, we'll do it. So we get on the phone, I call my dad, and I say, you know, he picks up, he's like, hello, this is Ernie. And I'm like, hey, this is Anthony. Now, I expected my dad to be like, oh my gosh, my long lost son. My dad's exact response was verbatim. Well, I'm glad you finally got the nerve to call me. Because my brother was next to me, even though I wanted to cuss, cry, throw the phone, I smiled. And I said, Merry Christmas, and I gave my brother the phone. To this day, no one, not a single person has disappointed me as much as my dad, except myself. It's really... Uh, I. I this video is going to end, and so I'm going to add something to it because I want to... I know I keep doing this to you guys, but... <laughs> actually, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. What I want to talk to you guys about is being disappointed and being overly critical of yourself. And as a result of the experience I had with my dad growing up, I am superbly critical. I'm always seeking approval from people. Sometimes that causes me to get stepped on, crushed, taken advantage of by anyone and everyone in my life because shout out to juice man that was him uh one of my subs <laughs> playing with me in this game uh on black ops this is actually a game from the open lobby uh that i had a couple weeks ago so you know i've never been more disappointed except by myself and i got a dislike on my i want my moab episode four and i don't know why and i want to talk to you guys about it so I'm going to do a part two, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.